Alright, homies. Uh, what's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? The Kaiza is back once again, right? Um, and as you can tell by, like, the, the layout, again, we're gonna be doing another one of a- one, another one of the Kaiza's, like, Toku times, right? Where's, like, the- where's, like, the, uh, the Toku channel point? I'm gonna, like, spread that out always myself. Yep, it's Kaiza's Toku time, right? Oh, man. And what better way to do it um, with the newest Sentai on the block right now. And we're gonna be doing a first episode impression of the newest Sentai, again, like, on the block, Bakuage Sentai Boom Boonger. Um, yeah, this is gonna be the, the newest Sentai after King Ojer, right? And I gave my pretty much like my general impression of King Ojer. It's a it's a peak like Sentai series, right? Um, a lot of uh, action choreography with usage of like CG green screen elements. So it's definitely like a top for me, like a cool like nine out of ten Sentai. It could have been polished up like a little bit in terms of like, you know, plot and stuff like that, right? As will any like Twitter user who loves like Super Sentai or Kamen Rider or just in general loves like a consistent like arc to arc uh, flowchart. But I still think like King Ojer is still like a good Sentai and now that King Ojer is done and even though the King Ojer story is, you know, technically not done, technically because we got announcements uh, earlier ago about crossover series with uh, King Ojer versus Dawn Brothers, and then we have another crossover event, crossover movie with King Ojer versus Joe Ujer. Right, so we get like two back-to-back -back, like crossover series, which is like, huh, that's really interesting. They're really putting like the pedal to the metal on these like crossover series because I think like for King Ojer, the the season sold itself really well when it did like the um, Kyoryuger crossover like in like in the late middle of the season, and everybody got to see like Ian. <laughs> Ian, no son, um, Ami, and Soji, right? The four, like, characters, albeit outside of King and, like, Utsumimaru, right? Because they were doing, like, other acting gigs. But they are, uh, rumored to be coming back for the crossover movie, so it's like... Kind of like a weird, like, transition, like, what the fuck? Maybe, again, actors were, like engaged uh to other uh movies or j dramas prior uh prior to the kyo new jerky so it's like something that's like out of their control but we're definitely gonna get crossover movies uh for kyo new to like expand and you know dead ass for a fact that the kaiza is going to be doing like a movie review for um those movies when they come out with subs, so be on the watch out for uh, Twitter and all that jazz. Um, speaking of that Kyo Ryuger, I, I opened the Megazord, and if anybody has been keeping track of like my Instagram or like my TikTok channels, I got the Megazord uh, done. Like, it looks really sick. Uh, I am planning on getting the, um, planning on getting the other, like, Megazord sets, but let's see, time will only tell, right? I'm pretty low in money, um, but I do want to get the, um, the God Tarantula and the, uh, King Caucus Beetle Zord, the big, like, Megazord, and have, like, a combined set. And, of course, I want to get, like, the Boom Boonja Robo after, like, that first episode impression. Oh my god. <laughs> But yeah, we got that shit opened up, and it looks really, like, sick. The painting could use, like, some work, though, because it's been sitting in my house for, like, a long time. But it looks- this shit looks really, like, peak, bro. A good word for it. 
But anyway, um, let's go on to this like uh, Boom Boomger review, right? So, um, Boom Boomger uh, episode one. Gosh, oh my Allah! What can I say about uh, Boom Boomger? Um, definitely is very Go Onger like, right? Um, because of course, right, the theming or the motif of Boom Boomger is all about like uh, about like cars or vehicles. So this is like the latest Reiwa iteration of like past Super Sentai seasons that did utilize uh, cars as like you know a motif. There was Turbo Ranger, there was Car Ranger or Turbo in the Americans, and there was Go Onger slash RPM. Right, so we had like a total of like three, and this is like the fourth. This is the fourth Sentai that we'll be uh, dealing with that. But I gotta say, it really is like we had like an experimental phase with like King of Ogier, right? Where everything is all the, all the like the acting, all of like the actions are like done behind like a green screen, and there was. A lot of like usage for CG, right? Um, I'm thinking of like the Megazord like fights. There were some that were like practical, um, but most of the shots were, you know, CG or like the action fights were like behind like a green screen to sell you like we're in like in another world and not like in um, Japan. The only time that the King Oger set was in Japan, like actual like locales and stuff like that was in the Kyoryuger crossover. Which, you know, is kind of like the, you know, antithesis of like tokusatsu in Japan. It, and tokusatsu essentially means like just practical effects with practical, uh, with like actual like environments and actual like um, special effects, not like CG horseshits or stuff like that. But King Oger like was Again, doing like an experimental phase and just trying out, you know, what sort of like possibilities can you do with like a green screen to create like these like big as hell like countries. You're not gonna make like on set and just convince people like let that be that. Uh, no, we gotta sell you how like cool and gorgeous like these kingdoms really are, you know? <laughs> So I appreciate King Gojer for that, and with Boom Boomger, it's like going back to Sentai uh, basics or Sentai roots, right? We gotta do our bread and butters. <laughs> um, so everything now is like very practical. Um, it's now like in the real world instead of like a fant fantastical like uh, CG screen, right? Uh, and of course, like the material. Uh, for this boom ranger is hella hella fun, right? Like again, it's taking inspiration from Go Ranger, uh, Turbo Ranger, and the commonalities between like Boom Ranger, Turbo Ranger, Go Ranger is that they may have like serious like serious tones, but uh, but. On top of it all, they manage to become very like funny or like hilarious. Like there's like a joke here and there all over the place, you know? And it just relishes that, right? Um, everything about like the Boom Boomger is like selling it that like this is gonna be like an unhinged like season, right? It's just gonna be like comedy all over the place. But since it's like Sentai, it is like marketed towards like kids or like you know younger adults kids to like younger adults but the show material is um but the show material can also be like very dark at times and we've seen this in like past super sometimes before which is funny because like there was like an article uh from the king oger writer himself i want to see if i Find it. And, like, scroll all the way back. I'll have to like scroll all the way back. I've like 
mine have misfit. I think I like I might have misfit. Let me try. This will take me a few like uh, minutes, give me like some time only some trying to like trying to like find this shit somewhere. That was it. So there was like a King Oger like tweet from the head writer, from the head writer himself. And saying that, um, uh, let me go over here. And have one. What I want to see is something bright. And this is like the this is the head writer of King Oger. But when I'm shown something truly uh, bright, uh, but when I'm, it feels like a lie, I think this is something that TV dramas will have to continue to fight against. But there's no need to tell children things like, there is a future, or you can change the world. I can say that. Actually, I don't have to say that. I believe that people who say, saw this as a child truly believed it and wanted to change the world. Who saw this as a child truly believed it and wanted to change the world will be the ones who will move the world in a positive direction. Right? And it goes on saying, People can say, Can children understand King Ulger? Or, and or, Is it a... Isn't it aimed at adults? But in the first place, I wonder, what is aimed at children? I can't put into words. And most of the time, it's what adults say. When I was, uh, um, which is like a very, like, clear, like, cool speculation. Because, like, originally, tokusatsu is, like, is like a marketing strat to, uh, young boys slash young adults who want to believe, like, in a superhero. Similar like vibes to you know um, like the concept of like superheroes, right? Color coordinated cosplayers or like tight or like swole as fuck or sexy as fuck boys and girls wearing like spandex and like beating up villains, right? I can be like that villain and I can change the world, you know, sort of thing. And superheroes or Power Rangers are there to like inspire that you can be like a hero as well. Eventually, it gets like it gets like you know trickled down to um, what Super Sentai financially is. Yo, yo with the yells, crack rock steady. What's up? Let's see, close on YouTube. Refresh. Okay. But the head writer of King Oger said says, "Can children understand King Oger?" Or it and or is it aimed for adults? But in the first place, I wonder what is aimed for aimed at children. You can't put into words, and most of the time it's what adults say. And then he goes on an excerpt about like his life. When I was little, I always wanted to see what adults were watching, and I used to make fun of what kids were watching. The most popular movie right now, the head of King Oger says this. Right now is Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba, and young children are running around wearing Tanjiro's happy coat. Is that work really mind blowing? Isn't that work really mind blowing and a spectacular story? Ah, eh, point of contention there, sir. But you, okay, if you just look at this, if you just look at the description, I don't think it's meant for children. Dead ass for certain, right? Kimetsu no Yaiba, or sorry, Demon Slayer. Yeah, there's some like blood and like, well, kind of like tame. Well, not 
kind of. It is like team because you're making like a manga adaptation, uh, but toning down on some of like the levels of like more that like you can do. That's why I think that even if you create something with only children in mind, you probably won't be able to find something that children will really enjoy. Which is, of course, you know, it's a fair statement, right? Children are really like walking little sponges, right? They, right, they soak in information and um, what they like is what they like, right? So... King Ocher may not be, like, targeted for kids. It definitely has a lot of, like, you know, adult, like, filters, not, like, adult, adult. But it is, like, a show that... It is a show that, like, deals with, uh, more complex stuff than, like, the kid would, like, understand. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Um, which is good, right? Yeah, which is good. Exactly. Kids are like sponges, and we don't need to... We don't need to... Yeah, exactly, right? Some of, like, the old-school, like, Cartoon Network shows back in the day growing up for us American kids, an example of that is Courage the Cowering Dog, right? A show that is, like, you know clear and present danger, like a cartoon, hence from the produ production team that it's from, Cartoon Network, is a cartoon, but has a lot of, like, um, in-depth complexities that, you know, a child may, you know, all understand, right? Deals with loss, trauma, and SA for a few examples, exactly, right? Everybody remember, everybody remembers Courage to Calorie Dog for like a cartoon, and it's funny because it is a cartoon, that's what it does, it, it, is, it creates like humor and, you know, it's not a full like drama drama, but there are like, you know, very sad like, you know, moral elements in a, in a cartoon. Courage to Calorie Dog, again, for example, like the, the semi-last episode, with like courage, you know, courage's parents, you know, being captured by a mad scientist and sent to space by a Russian like doctor for, for you know, the experiment that like, oh, send dogs to space, make them big and buff, you know? <laughs> I think that was like it. But Super Sentai. Duh! <laughs> Duh! Super Sentai is, you know, is a kid show targeted towards, like, young adult, young adults, uh, young adults to, like, little kids, like, 10 to, like, 15 year, like, age range, but has a lot of, like, layers of, like, you know, there's, like, blood on the screen, there's, like, you know, talks about, like, time to kill you and, like, shit like that. You don't, like, hear that in a cartoon you don't hear that in a in a kid show like that power rangers that's why i love power rangers back in the day because a, a lot of like the old school like rpm like jungle fury time force um lightspeed rescue lightspeed rescue literally had demons right in like in a kid show where there's not really a lot of like demons out there <laughs> they keep it like they keep it like uh, tone because tone because um they always say like destroy the Power Rangers right it's just one word off from saying like kill the Power Rangers and you know would it have mattered no I wouldn't think so if they were to change that but at the time it's like we gotta save our child mind or something like that we gotta make our shows like Christian friendly at the time of like those shows, but not really. <laughs> not really. So definitely you definitely you can have like as I always say, um needs a little bit of spice, exactly. You can definitely have kid shows a la like a Power Rangers or a Super Sentai and have it be funny but also mix in a little bit of of spice 
uh, li mix a little bit of like, you know, gritty like tones. Like, you want some, you want some nails with your bowl of like, <laughs> welcome to the Salty Splatoon. How may I take your order? <laughs> you know, shit like that. Right? So, it's a definitely like interesting, it's definitely like interesting that the head of Q. No bowl, no milk for my bowl of nails, thank you. Exactly. <laughs> Um, but Boom Boonger is like the latest season where it offers um, like a lot of complex like moral elements. I mean, of course, it's the first episode, so we're just like introduced to the characters, but has a lot of like funny sides as well, you know? So Boom Boonger episode one, we actually get to like the plot of like episode one. We get to this person named... <laughs> All of like the Boom Boonger casts are named after vehicle parks. The Red Ranger, for instance, his name is... Tayo... Taya... First name... Last name... Handle... Tire... Handle... So it's a cute like punny joke, right? Um... Red Ranger is such a Chad, like, he tries to be like Geats from Kamen Rider Geats or Ace Ukyo. Abducts a, abducts a, a wife, a, a, a potential wife, from a wedding, um, because a delivery was requested for him to get the wife from the wedding and deliver her to her actual boyfriend who's waiting at, like, the airport. But then the fiance, the Pink Ranger, whose name is Mirai Shifto, has mixed feelings about it because, yeah, she wants to uh, be her own self, be her own person. Let her take control of the wheel. And then he saves the kid, and, and then that kid wants to marry him. That, that trope was silly. Yeah, that was old school Super Sentai tropes. Yeah, where like, the little- where like, a Sentai, uh, person saves like a little kid, and then the little kid wants to marry her. Like, isn't that kid like 10? I still want to marry you. I'm like, <laughs> You know? <laughs> it's funny though, it's funny, but that's just like, <laughs> Alright, but, um... And then we get, like, information on the, uh, villains. The villain's, like, name of the Sentai is the Hashi Hashirian, or Hashirians. They're, like, ruffian, like, car, um, thugs. And I'll show you, like, and I'll show you some scenes of hash browns. They stop in front of the crossing walk. To let an old lady cross like of course heroes can do it but villains can also do it too so they're not at, they're not despicable they they're not gonna run granny over by by a rain like uh these are like the grunts marriage tea <laughs> true horror <laughs> then we have like the grunts which is very like similar to um zenkaiger right like the nuts and bolts like cranium ass like monsters and the, the whole, like, villain, like, goal is to, like, absorb, like, the, the terror and the fear of their new planet that they conquer and fills up, like, their human? Yeah, shit! Um, so, and then, like, uh, the Pink Ranger, um, gets, like, her resolve to, like, you know, fight and fight alongside the Boom Boonger, new recruit. And we have um, some cool like action scenes, like their first like henshin together, right? That's the pink and the blue ranger, and I think they do. Yeah, so that's the so that's the uh, henshin. This is their uh, finisher, right? Which is really like swaggy, and we get like um, this deadass. This Sentai literally has some uh, Mario Kart vibes, right? It definitely has like the noise that it makes when you start up Mario Kart races. Boom, 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 
like that like that shit like it's really like dope um that game has split my family <laughs> dead ass it did um episode really like uh impressed like the kaisa it's going back to roots it's definitely funny since you know power rangers or super sentai of course can be like dark but also not afraid to be like silly at a lot of times right have like they always strive for good blends whatever is burning can't be good to breathe so they'll have like a good mix of all right um good uh very good very good ass like humor but also balance it out with like very like deep like um tones and shifts right so i definitely dig this uh super sentai a lot because of it you know and i can't wait for like episode two uh we're gonna get like um in we're gonna get like more lore on the pink ranger there's gonna be like a rivalry between pink and blue um, the Red Ranger is going to be a Chad is all hell, right? Definitely like a spooky vibes. <laughs> Evil Space Abestus. <laughs> but the Sentai is really dope. Um, really dope. Like, again, going back to like roots, no longer are we like in the experimental phases like in King Oger or Dawn Brothers. It's going uh, back to uh, roots with. Um, Actual toys beating the shit out of each other. No like CG except for some except for some uh, fights or Megazord um, link ups or Megazord combinations, things like that. But it is really like good. Um I definitely like give like this impression like a really good like 8 out of 10. Because, of course, it's the first episode, so we got, like, uh, a little bit of, like, ideas of, like, what the Sentai is, like, going to be, but we can't, like, judge the full Sentai until it's, like, ended, like, one year, like, after, right? We have to go through the seasons, after all, <laughs> you know? But anyway, um, 